Jealous of what big ass Reebok looking at? Errol Spence gets that Sean Porter. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel. Now, Sean Porter versus Errol Spence, it's all but been announced. Like, both parties have showed and, and said that they're going to fight. The date, the venue hasn't been officially announced. So, stay tuned on the channel for that. But it's apparent that these two are like there's some kind of spat like it's like the competitiveness has already started and Errol Spence posted this. We're going to jump right into it. And he had some kind of like Fox Fox. This is going to be on Fox to my understanding, premier boxing channel on Fox. And then at, he was at the Charlo, obviously supporting his Texas brethren. And Sean Porter was there, too, who lives in Vegas. And they had them both on the screen and like doing some kind of interview. I don't know because I was at the fight, the Charlo fight. So I don't know if they actually aired this on the telecast or they're going to air it at another point in time. But you see the picture with the Heidi host and it's Spence and Porter. And I don't know what's being said or whatnot. Again, I haven't watched the telecast because I was live in the flesh. And, you know, this is what Errol said. I, I don't know who said what but apparently you know sean porter maybe said he was jealous of him I, I don't know because errol spence posted this on his verified account he said jealous of what i can't wait till september and he making that frown face he said big ass reeboks <laughs> and then tank jumped in it and said and them special egg khaki pants wow and they talking about i guess sean porter's shoes like that he chose to wear wear wow they're not feeling the the shoes that he had on so um this shit has been <laughs> this is <been laughs> this is gonna be lit i'm looking forward to this fight i think it's a totally different fight than the mikey garcia fight i was at that fight that was a good fight that was a fun fight i'm looking forward to it you know i think spence you know he's he's entertaining he doesn't really do too much like the the pre-fight talking and stuff he does all his talking in the ring but, you know, if provoked, he will stand his ground. And I don't know what it is because I always thought Sean Porter and um, Spence were pretty cool. But I, I think, you know, if I had to take a stab at it, I think Spence kind of resents, you know, Kenny Porter putting out information and saying stuff and, you know, just different things like that. Um, Kenny Porter did a recent interview before the fight and he said, we've been waiting for the fight and what's taking Errol so long to sign the contract we've been waiting a month you know and it let fans it kind of misled the fans into believing that there was this big um weight from the spin side and i don't know what the details were they might have just been sorting out the the venue and stuff like that they also have this clip with kenny porter and he he guesstimated how many pay-per-view buys the fight would do with errol spence and mikey garcia and then Kenny Porter, he basically um, had undermined the fight and gave it a real. Roy rematch. Bernard, when they were more popular, only 50,000. Marquez Bradley, 225. Marquez Juan Manuel, 225. 200. What do you think uh, Earl and Garcia lie? 75,000. Damn, he said he said the Mikey Garcia fight is going to do 75,000 pay-per-view buys. And obviously it did a lot more. It did almost like 375. So that was off the mark. So I think Errol Spence is just motivated. Sean Porter um he's motivated obviously because errol spence has been taking some shots at him you know errol spence said oh sean porter sean porter he can't fit he can't sell out a family dinner man down you know he said something to that effect like he can't sell out a family dinner i seen the fight with you guys there was nobody in the crowd and woom, woom, woom. errol spence you know he feels he's the number one welterweight i can't wait for this fight stay tuned on the channel i'm gonna give you guys coverage but he said he ain't jealous of nothing and um, I was just I just seen Errol Spence at the Charlo fight and he said he's going to stop 
Sean Porter. You know, like he's going to punish him, basically. So I can't wait. It's going to be a good fight. It's going to be on pay-per-view. I believe Fox. I'm still waiting for the details of the venue. I think the Barclays, but you never know. It's boxing. It ain't nothing done until it's done. Let me know what you guys think. Spence versus Sean Porter. Who wins? I think it's an interesting style. Porter's always in crazy conditioning. You know, I know his strength and conditioning coach. I know Team Porter. Um, you know, he's relentless. Keith Thurman hit him with big shots. He kept coming forward. Relentless. So it's a it's an interesting style matchup. Um, and I want to see how both fighters fare. Roy Jones made a recent comment. I was, you know, at the Charlo fight, and Roy Jones said, you know, we gotta see. He, he said basically he said, We got some, we gotta, we got some questions about Spence. I don't really have a question about Spence. I think he's the truth, like his, his nickname suggests. But Roy was saying from his perspective, you know, he can't really gauge Spence, you know, coming off the Triple G. Um, Kell Brook coming off that Triple G loss and, you know, Mikey Garcia being undersized. I, I still, me personally, I, I don't agree with Roy there. And Roy's my favorite fighter of all time. I just think I've seen enough of Spence to know and I've heard enough stories and stuff to know that he, I think he's the real deal. You know, I think he's a good fighter, but it's a different stylistic matchup. But anyway, Roy Jones made a, a statement in front of the camera. I got the video up and he said, we don't know everything about Spence. He said, I heard a lot of good things about Spence. See, and listen, there's a lot of people in the media and they're like saying stuff to Spence and saying stuff to Spence's people. And it's like people are instigating things. Roy Jones, I was there. Roy Jones, he didn't really say nothing bad about Spence. He said, I heard a lot of good things, but he said, I got to see against someone who's formidable, in my opinion, to really assess that. So I don't think people made it like Roy was just like, I didn't interpret it like Roy was just going in and going off on Spence like, oh, he sucks or anything like that. But, you know, you know how things start, you know. And I kind of feel bad for Spence, you know, because it's just like it, it's sad, really. Like <clears throat> when it comes to black fighters. It seems like black fighters can't oftentimes be great like you know because even former black fighters like of the past say different things about these guys the deontay wilders the spences the charlo you know people that are looking really good in their careers and just trying to make a living and try to entertain the fans and stuff and then you have a lot of like the the great previous generation black fighters legendary people and they seem to be a lot more critical of other black fighters, like even black, like the fighters, the legend is black, you know, like Mike Tyson, Bernard Hopkins, like Bernard Hopkins says some stuff about, oh, yeah, the Charlo's dog. What are you doing? You're not going to deserve. You don't just deserve a Canelo fight dog. You know, you got to show us. something. Like he was like, what are you talking about? You know, so I didn't really take it like that from Roy. But, you know, it's hard to tell because guys like Spence, he's just trying to do his thing. And, you know, there are a lot of fighters that seem a lot of black fighters of of yesteryear that seem highly critical of today's black fighters more over and more so than any other non black fighter. Like when it comes to Tim Bradley, he's saying Tom Schwartz victory for Tyson Fury puts him, you know, in this remarkable category. And, you know, Tyson Fury is the the. Terrence Crawford, ambidextrous heavyweight, you know, Terrence Crawford of heavyweight, and he's all this high praise, but then you ask Tim Bradley about Errol Spence, and then he'll probably say something like, oh, I gotta see more from Spence. I mean, he cool, but Spence, you know, it's like, what? what? Spence ain't getting knocked out of it, you know, his lights knocked out like Tyson Fury would. It's just crazy what I see in this boxing game, but guess what? New media, digital mob, you know, and we see this critical. You look at Sugar Ray Leonard, they asked him, they says, hey, Spence, you know, Spence versus Garcia is a good fight. Who are you picking? Oh, I got to go with Mikey. You know why? Because it's Mikey. And then, you know, Errol Spence has constantly did interviews and said, like, Sugar Ray Leonard is his go-to guy. That's, like, on his Mount Rushmore. And then I'm not saying you should pick, you know, pick against your heart. Like, if you really thought Mikey Garcia would win. But my thing is, what made you feel that Mikey Garcia would really and truly win? Because when it came to explaining it, Sugar Ray Leonard didn't really go into it. So it sounded like, you know, it sounded like Coonan to me. You know, it sounded like he was just saying what a lot of people, a lot of it, blacks have this, you know, where this 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 notion, like almost like a slave mentality where they think they have to say what the 
the public or, you know, the man is going to want them to say. And if they don't, then they're going to get backlash and they're not they're not ready to receive that. Me, I don't give a fuck, bro. I'm going to tell you what I see. Black, white, green, blurple. I don't give a fuck what you talking about. If I think a fighter's going to win, then the fighter's going to win, period. You know, it's not based on anything else. But there's a lot of people who seem like they um, when critiquing black fighters, I'm talking about black other black fighters of the past and stuff when it when it seems like critiquing you know current black fighters they go all in and tell you all the flaws and what did oh you know this guy needs more head movement this is what they say to arrow they say oh he needs more head movement you know his defense oh you know mikey he has to watch out because mikey's trick you know it's like wow really you know what i'm saying like what have you seen you know they're making it seem like they see wild flaws in arrow spencer's game it's just crazy you know and then it comes to other fighters like Lomachenko and then they just bow down and act like he, like Lomachenko looks easier to beat than this man on the screen to me. Errol Spence look harder to beat, you know, per capita, per division than Lomachenko. I think Lomachenko, if he's in there with the right person in his division, you know, I think Devin Haney and Gervonta Tank Davis, um, Teofimo Lopez, Mikey Garcia at 35, they all have a shot for sure. But Mikey you know i don't know if he can make lightweight now but when it comes to errol spence you know i can't think of a plethora of people that i would just favor to beat him you know it's looking like him and crawford are the best of the bunch and i don't even know who would win that fight so you know people have to just be comfortable in their own skin and you know give it up I mean, people people deserve credit you know errol spence i think he deserves a lot of credit um and it, it sucks that sometimes his own people go against the grain you know and flip the script because it seems like they're trying to appease a different crowd or something but you don't have to do that he's a he's a talented fighter just all you have to do is admit it and be honest i'm not saying like give people credit for things they don't deserve but when they do deserve it it's okay to give them credit for it let me know what you guys think spence for supporter very good fight different style fight than garcia versus um spence and i'm looking forward to it Holla, drop your fight prediction. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing. Yeah.